Singapore's acting Prime Minister Heng Swee Keat says that the country's fourth generation leaders will make every effort to build a future of progress and work with citizens to do so. Mr Heng has told the annual Singapore Perspectives Conference that the government will also help middle-aged to older workers to upskill. He says details will be released in next month's budget along with plans to better help lower income groups. Singapore's improbable success was made possible by capable leaders, a united people, and the reservoir of trust between them, according to Mr. Hing. And this approach will be key, he says, as the world grapples with longer-term issues such as rising inequality and economic disruption. Measures are already on the horizon in areas including housing, aging, and skills development. We are currently developing the next bound of skills future. I will make a further push to help workers pick up new skills and seize new opportunities. One such group are those in their 40s and 50s. We are now studying how we can better help lower and middle income Singaporeans, including current and future seniors, to meet their retirement needs in a sustainable way. I will provide more details in the coming budget. Mr. Heng said the decade and beyond will also pose challenges like geopolitical tensions, a rapidly aging society and climate change. In the face of this, Mr. Heng pledged the government's unwavering commitment to Singaporeans. My colleagues and I will make every effort to build a future of progress for Singaporeans in the coming decades. A future where we can continue to prosper as a nation, where all Singaporeans have opportunities to succeed a future where the benefits of progress will be shared with all, where no one will be left behind if they give their best. Mr. Heng added that naysayers may not think much of what the government has achieved with Singaporeans over the years. But he believes people can draw their own conclusions as the government addresses concerns and delivers on promises. We are upfront about the hard truths facing Singapore and also about mistakes, even if they are politically inconvenient. Nevertheless, in a society increasingly flooded by misinformation, by information and misinformation, it is critical that we find ways to deepen understanding and relationships among our people and to redouble our efforts to maintain a balanced perspective. Mr. Heng reiterated the notion of coming together for a shared future, pointing to the ongoing Singapore Together movement that he launched last year. He said there are many areas to collaborate on, ranging from security to sustainability. And this movement is expected to gain even more momentum moving forward. Singapore Together will be our new cornerstone of nation building, our way of ensuring that as we progress together and that the benefits of progress are felt by all Singaporeans. Our way of harnessing diversity as strength so that we are greater than the sum of our parts. Our way of creating a shared future and finding common ground so that we remain united as one people. Our way of ensuring Singapore remains exceptional as we ride the winds of uncertainty and waves of disruption. I invite all Singaporeans to join us on this journey as we continue to chart our shared future together.